especially kind of in the weekend to the weekend home. Uh, your thoughts on tonight's match and we'll, or today's match? We'll take a few questions. I think uh, Arizona's a really tough opponent to play. Um, Dave is such a good coach. Um, there's so many different things he can do to kind of screw you up and mess up your rhythm. And um, so I thought, you know, we had to just kind of keep battling point for point and, and get through it and weather some runs. And I thought they served us really tough. Um, and uh, I thought they passed well enough that we had a hard time getting pressure on them. But I liked our fight. I thought our offense, again, was was pretty high level. Um, there's definitely things we can get better at, which is exciting. Uh, but overall, you know, go 6-0 and on the weekend, you know, in sets against Arizona schools. I feel really excited about that. Um, you know, we, we really tried to serve tough when she was in the front row just to try to make it harder for her because we know if she's in system, she's really good. Um, so I thought, I thought she didn't have a lot of really clean looks um, for the most part. Um, and then I thought our defense made a lot of good plays on her swings. Georgia made a few digs that I can remember, Brooke, et cetera, where um, just pretty extra special digs, you know, that kind of held her. But she had no errors either, um, you know, but I thought overall, again, when you play players like her, you need the full team. Um, in order to, to hold them down a little bit. And I thought that's what we did. When you were scouting Arizona, I imagine you um, picked up that their middles were going to be pretty good. Uh, what was the emphasis on the serve and pass game going into this game, knowing that if they were in system, they were going to utilize those middles? Yeah, they, again, they do a lot of different things that's really hard to defend. You don't see it very often. Um, and their middles are doing a really good job. And I, I think the connection they have with the setter is tough. They're high, they're strong, and they move the ball around really well. A lot of variety there. Um, so we were hoping to serve uh, more aggressive than we than we did. Um, I just don't think we applied, we were able to get enough pressure and that's a credit to their passing. Um, uh, you know, so their middles got some looks, but I felt like uh, we adjusted well towards the end. I don't remember them as much in the last set and a half. I feel like the first set and a half, they, they were getting moving. So I thought Kiari made some really good adjustments on them and she had, I think, blocked eight balls and three sets. That's so good. Um, and uh, again, I thought we started to make some really nice reads on them and got some good touches and just kept transitioning. So, um, but no, they do a lot of things really well and I, I thought we responded well. I mean, everybody is really good and everybody does things differently. So I think something that we do pride ourselves on is that we're not just doing, you know, we don't just play one way. We can play a lot of different ways based upon who we're, who we're playing against and what their strengths are. And that's something we try to do. That's something we try to teach, you know, um, and I like that our players are able to adapt and, and do some different things um, with that. And you know, sometimes it takes a little while to kind of figure that out, um, whether the tempo of the offense is different or the block height is different or different things like that. So. Um, I like that our team keeps trying to figure it out as we go. We're problem solving pretty well this year. You mentioned the eight blocks from Kiari and Roby. Can you just talk about her play in the net and her development as a middle? Yeah, I think with Kiari and Colby both, I think the other side feels them coming. You know, like there's a she's developing a real presence, um, which is what what you're hoping for from your middle blockers, right? Like, oh, I, I need to hurry up and swing because Kiari's coming. You know, that type of thing. Um, and she's she's so strong up at the net. She really gets a, a long way over the net. You know, she seals off some angles that generally are available against different blockers. Um, and she's just a sponge right now. She's really, you know, she's you just see her taking off. You see her confidence grow. You see her personality coming out more. And I'm really excited for her. Uh, but she's having a huge impact. I think again, we held them to 136 overall. And I think a lot of those times, you know, Kiari's just kind of making them nervous to take swings because she's up there. So um, really need that from her. When we start getting Um, knowing that, you know, for a great example, Gloria that popped off um, on Friday with 14 kills today, she hit a negative, mm -hmm. um, which not necessarily her fault, but just to have a well-rounded team where you just know any night that anyone can pop off, how do you feel like that might help you um, when other teams are, are kind of looking across the board at what they have coming up? Yeah, I mean, I think Arizona State was more focused on our lefts, and which – you know, they should be because Mimi and Brooke are doing such a great job and the speed is, you know, Hannah's making good choices. So then Gloria was one-on-one, -on -one, you know, most of the night um, or against Arizona State. And then tonight I felt like, you know, they were a little more focused to Gloria, but then our lefts are more open and you see in the results from Mimi and Brooke. So that's what you want. You know, I mean, if everybody's scoring, that's, that's you know, that's wonderful. Uh, but against good teams that are able, they're going to pick and choose. Um, and I think that's what Hannah's been doing such a good job of. Is she's taking a look on the other side. She's really getting... Um, a, good, a clear picture of what the best choice is, and, and she's been executing at such a high level. And today, the NCAA came out with the Division One Volleyball Committee. Um, they announced their top ten teams. Uh, you, the Ducks, were ranked uh, number seven in that. Um, top of the Pac-12, highest ranked teams. Um, why do you think your team deserves to be in that spot? Uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea. 
I, I know right now that we're doing, uh, you know, we're starting to play some real volleyball. That's what I see. Um, I think we can play real defense and offense. Um, our service game is getting better and our net play is getting better. And I see us gelling. I see us being tough. You know, it, we're going to lose matches. You know, we're not always going to be perfect. We're going to have tough ones. You know, all those things are going to happen. Um, you know, but I, I just see us becoming a pretty good volleyball team. I don't know how to compare that to other people. Um, but compared to us, we're better than we've been. Um, and I think that's the goal for us to just keep being a better version of ourselves. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of our team and, and we'll let everybody else that's smarter than me figure that out. And uh, a lot of teams have come here and I mean, three sweeps to start off tactical play. Now you guys hit the road. Uh, how are you preparing your players to kind of go from an environment where you got the crowd behind you, you're comfortable, into an environment that might not be comfortable these next few weeks? Well, I mean, even today, I, I didn't know what type of crowd we'd have coming off a really late football game, you know, that type of thing. So um, I, I was just imploring to them, hey, we got to bring our own energy. You know, we got to bring our own fire. I feel like the last two matches, we've really fed off the crowd and it's you just see us kind of go with an accelerant with that. Um, and I thought we did a good job of that, you know, today. Uh, the crowd actually was good. A lot of students came back and I can't believe they did. Um, really proud of them, you know. They don't know any better, you know, that they on Sunday mornings, but I think that was great. Um, and I, I hope you know, that we, they, they really like coming to the games, you know, that they want to be a part of this and that's something that we can continue to grow with. And I know, I mean, again, we went to Minnesota, we went to Miami because we wanted to be on the road and be in those tough environments. Um, and I wanted our group to be able to, you know, feed off of that as well, just in a different direction. Um, so, you know, now we go to Pullman and Seattle. Um, those are really tough places to play and, you know, they're meaningful matches for sure. Um, so I'm excited to see how we respond to that. We'll learn more about ourselves. You talked about Kelly Roby's success. She's been unbelievable recently. But how are you balancing between her and Carson Bacon? Is that a game by game basis, or just who's playing better than them? Well, I mean, I, and and Reagan Hope. You know, I really think I, I again, people say it's a good problem to have. We have four really good middles, really good. Um, and sometimes it's by health. You know, who's feeling better? Sometimes it's matchups. Um, I, again, I know you don't see it, but I mean, I'm watching Reagan. Reagan's getting better every day. Um, and, and Carson, Carson got banged up uh, a little bit, um, but she, you know, she's trying to fight through an injury and, but she's one of our captains. She's a leader. She's being a great example. She's fighting through it. Um, she's being really mature. And I, I like that. I like the group. The four of them are really tight and they're working together and they're, they're encouraging each other. Um, again, I've told the team, I don't know how many times just be ready. You don't know when your time's going to come. Um, you know, but I know that they're all doing the best they can and, and, um, it's a good problem to have, I guess.